My name is Melissa Orozco. I am 23 years old, and I am a senior at NJCU. Francis Bacon resonates with me because of his lifestyle and art style. Most of his artwork comes from a messy environment, and just like him, I feel like my creative ideas come from a hectic and chaotic place in my mind. He connects with my idea of art because art does not always come from a, an organized or stable environment. Francis Bacon was born in Ireland on October 28, 1909, and passed away on April 28, 1992. His style of art can be described as dark, grotesque, and emotional. My first time hearing about this artist was in this class. When I learned about him and saw some of his work, I became intrigued. The piece that captured my attention was Bacon's 1953 study after Velasquez's Portrait of Innocent X. This piece stood out to me because when I look at it, I am drawn to its darkness. Bacon made this piece for the purpose of interpretation and to experiment with color. Although this piece is not political, or has anything against the Pope, I can't help but interpret it as such. The feature that captured my attention in this piece would be the Pope's face. The face is white with shades of black and blue. The eyes and nose are distorted and unclear and makes him look dead. But the mouth is the real center of the piece. The mouth gives the piece an evil feel to it. The Pope's clothes are purple and white what stands out about his clothes is the way it was painted. Consider the white gown as an example. There are parts of the gown that were roughly painted, other parts were lightly painted, and a few parts look barely painted. The same can be said about the purple part of his outfit. As a result of the color application, the Pope is given a transparent effect. The Pope shares yellow with some black outlines. The strange feature of the chair would be the bars that go around it. The bars make the chair look like a cage. The overall background of the piece is composed of black, blue, gray, white, and what appears to be orange or beige. The color was applied by vertical brush strokes with the exception of the chair area, which was painted horizontally. The way Bacon painted the background makes the colors look like rays of energy or light. The reason I chose this piece is because it challenges the traditional image of the Pope. The Pope is a highly respected and well-known figure. They are best known for their closeness to God. This piece stands out because it shows the opposite and makes the Pope look ghostly and evil. My interpretation of this piece is that the Pope can't control his true identity. The Pope feels caged by his duties, caged to a point where he can't take it anymore. He screams in anger or pain, but no one hears him. His wrath is so strong that it creates an energy that causes him to slowly fade. The message that I got from this piece is that we all feel caged by our problems. And even though on the outside we look normal, on the inside we are suffering. As a result of keeping everything bottled up, keeping up with appearances becomes a challenge. A challenge that can wear a person down to the point of exhaustion.